in the series, there's basically one sort of main focus content, and that is of uh, uh, parking lots um, in Montreal that I would photograph during the uh, hours before the dawn and around February and March during the thaw of all the snow. So these spaces, these environments I was photographing was very much similar to the sort of residue that would be left over from the energy industry, uh, specifically uh, in, this, in this content, fracking, where uh, it's, you really don't see much of it, but all you really do see the majority of the space when you go to these sites is literally all the residue, the leftover machines, the garbage, and uh, the stuff that, um, you know, the detritus that you know, the employees that, um, would leave behind after they have done their drilling and so on. You're really not sure exactly where the landscape is, what kind of landscape it's, uh, where and what time it is, um, and also the visual plane, so it becomes almost a metaphor for uh, our, our natural environment, especially in Canada, where it's very mountainous and it's very beautiful. Uh, but then there's always this um, deeper, sort of larger conversation that's embedded in the environment, which is the oil industry, tar sands as well as new fracking kind of controversy and conversations. I found parallels within that tragedy to the to the images and these very beautiful but also very disastrous uh, leftover remnants of, of industry, of, of commercial industry, of product. Because these are all photographed in um, parking lots of big box stores, chain stores uh, throughout Montreal. And, uh, there's little, always these little hints of garbage, of detritus, like uh, of, uh, wrappers, uh, straws, subway cups, um, uh, just just uh, the residue of of, of consumerism. Um, the large scale work uh, that I have here, uh, the raft of Medusa, uh, um, is a good example of some of the references I'm also pointing at with the work. I'm very much interested in uh, looking at art history as well during these. The, 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 heroic landscape paintings of the 1700s, 1800s, and early 1900s. I found a lot of parallels, a lot of interesting sort of visual cues from those works of the past where it was, humankind was subordinate to nature, and now we've done a, a flip where construction and the way humankind can actually manipulate spaces now, landscape is more subordinate to humankind now in a weird way. And with this, uh, I've silk screened uh, um, 18 panels of paper, of just cheap paper, uh, bond paper, and with uh, mineral oil. Uh, mineral oil is a residue of the gasoline in in industry, which we actually eat or drink for uh, in the columns of our stomachs. But then silk screening that on, but then coating it with uh, carbon, basically graphite. It's slowly breaking down because it's not archival. It's uh, it's a very beautiful image, uh, or sense of a mountain terrain photograph of these environments within Montreal that we kind of um, left to to their own during the thaw. And by the end of the show, it'll probably um, get darker and sort of fall apart even further. I printed off a large amount of paper advertisement leaflets that would normally go to, onto doors or into papers, into mailboxes. And with that, I created a, uh, a faux company, a company that doesn't really exist, offering to frack their yards. And, it's, and I made it very pretty, very green, very luscious, um, and uh, really reflecting on, in reality, what happens with a lot of these industries. They send leaflets out to homes uh, when they were going into areas trying to give public approval for this, this, sort of, this, this process. And um, what happens is with these leaflets, they're basically nothing but, they, they really green them up. They make them really beautiful, and make them really you know, happy, and like, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. And it's all a lie, really, it's all a lie. And they trick you. So maybe people will show up to the gallery tonight, or the opening, uh, expecting a, a large public forum regarding fracking. Uh, or when, when they come to see an exhibition instead, an art show, and they'll probably be interested or confused, bewildered or upset and angry. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. <laughs>